Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Distance World Universe. This is episode three, and last time we left off, we had just gotten our spaceport constructed, which is very, very good. So, and we also got a scientist, which was also very good. A very good start already, which uh, leaves me feeling pretty good about the game. So if we'll look down here real quick, I just want you to notice that lowering our taxes did increase our population growth by plus 7%. Now, I don't think last time I explained why this population was so important. Uh, a large population means people are paying more taxes. More taxes means more money. So even though in the beginning of the game, I am taking a money hit technically by lowering my tax to increase my population. In the later game, when my planet uh, has max capacity on population, then I will be able to... Um, I will be able to bank more money on taxes with that large population. So that's why it's so important. Now let's uh, let's start constructing a, uh, a construction ship here. And actually before I do that, we want to go into the ship designs and probably change out the construction ship a little bit. Let's just change it to, I like shipyard. I think that's a good name. So mobile shipyard, kind of what I feel like it being. No, that's fine right there. So shipyard. And I think everything here is pretty much good for now. There's nothing else I need to really change until a little bit later when I decide to... Um, when I decide to add different things to these ships to make them a little bit faster and such. I guess I could maybe add some more engines to this. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see. So, engines, engines. Let's sort this by uh, category. It's a little bit easier to do that way. And we've got our engines rate. Where the hell are the engines? Ion thrusters. So there's our engines there. We'll add... Uh, two, three. There we go. And just kind of to go over a little bit, for those of you that have seen the game, I apologize. But for those of you that haven't, I would like to just kind of explain somewhat of what's going on here. This screen is very overwhelming. A lot of people that get into this game... Uh, usually get out of it very quickly because this simple ship construction screen right here for some reason seems to get everybody all the time and it's unfortunate it did confuse the piss out of me when I first started playing but you do somewhat get used to it so over here is kind of our movement uh, impulse cruise sprint and hyper obviously hyper is zero because we don't have any warp drives yet sprint is basically how fast we're moving when we're trying to get away from a situation or trying to get somewhere else. cruise is kind of just how fast we're moving when we're just you know cruising along and then, uh, uh, impulse is, uh, I'm actually not sure what impulse is. See, I don't even know as much, I don't even know everything about the game either, so you don't have to know everything about the game to play it. But, yeah, I'm not sure what impulse is, actually. Maybe something I should look up. Um, so, energy collected. None of this is really too worried, uh, much to worry about right now. Reactor power outputs, just how much power our reactor's putting out. Uh, static energy use, uses is how much energy the ship uses when it's just uh, sitting around, so how much fuel it kind of burns through. And excess energy output is how much energy we have access uh, from the reactor. So we're using a certain amount of it, and then how much is left over after we were using that amount. So let's add... Um, maybe not that many. Let's just put 20 there. That's fine. Then we have to add a little bit more have in life to... And the game tells you everything up here that you pretty much need, so... A little bit more hab, a little bit more life. There we go, just because we have some more engines, and that's going to be good. So, shipyard, that's fine. We'll just save it exactly like it is. There we go. And, uh, exploration ship. So, yeah, let's go through the exploration ship here, because we're going to need to... Uh, oop, uh, I guess I had the uh, automatic save on. My bad. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it... I, all right, that was quick. Uh, probably because the galaxy isn't fully fleshed out yet. Uh, I do need to go and turn that off. I don't want that uh, going on when they're in, in the middle of something. Yeah, we'll just keep the name Surveyor. That's fine. I like that name. So we got our Surveyor ships here, little exploration ships. Uh, their Sprint and Cruise is fine. I don't see any reason to really change that too much. Everything looks pretty normal for now. We can always come back in here and change it later down the road as well. So no reason to really change it from what it is. Evade, evade. Uh, invasion, do not invade, flee when enemy military in sight, exploration ship, image scaling is fine. Yep, okay, so save it there. And uh, these rest of these we don't have to worry about. Uh, we're not going to build any military ships just yet. And let's click on this here. So we got a construction ship that we need to build. And I'm going to actually unpause the game here. So I actually want to click on the planet, build, and let's get a construction ship going. There we go. 
And it's going to start building our construction ship there at the planet as well as I want to queue up some uh, exploration ships. So, not that screen. That screen's a little more complicated than what I actually want. This is what I actually want here. So, let's go to our construction yards here. And ship. And we want to purchase exploration ship. And we'll just purchase three of them for now. That's fine. So, get three of those ships. Uh, they're going to fill up these shipyards here. And that's basically what's going on. So ships waiting to be constructed go down here. Ships that do start getting constructed uh, will jump up here to the shipyard. If there's one available, then this is the progress of it and how fast uh, the shipyard operates and stuff like that. So the game isn't really that confusing once you start getting into it. Uh, what are the names of our ship here? So Lively Agent, Encounter of Thakwa, and Thakwa Imposter. Okay, I like that. All right, and those should uh, start getting constructed. So if I let the game run for a little bit, and go back into that screen, you'll see that they've now all gone into the shipyard and they're 6% completed. And basically it uses resources to complete these. So let's see if there's a way I can actually take a look at that and show you. Well, not sure exactly how to show you outside, in this screen anyways. Pretty sure I can go over it here. That's fine. Maybe not as much. If I wanted to see what it would cost, basically, I could do this. So, uh, say I wanted to know what it took to make an engine. If I went show component guide, it'll tell me about the engine and then what resources it takes to create it. So, it takes some carbon fiber and some steel. And uh, that's why if I go into, say, the build screen here. Not that. Oh, my goodness. There we go. And go into cargo. So, it takes carbon fiber and steel so steel we've got 21,165 that's the amount we're carrying right now as for uh, carbon fiber uh, 8,684 so plenty enough to build these engines or at least to build yeah to build the engines for these ships uh, but you got to make sure that this stays somewhat you know you don't want to be lacking in any resource there's actually an entire economy in the game based off of the resources and let's see if I can open that up quick and show you so the expansion planner this basically shows you uh, the entire economy for the entire galaxy based off of resources. So what kind of resource they are, the price that they're basically worth. So, you know, you'll see you have some more ex exotic resources like luxury resources here that are usually worth a lot. Loros fruit being one of the more rarer ones in the entire galaxy, but they usually have really good benefits and such like Loros fruit, I think, uh, yeah, any colony supplied with Loris fruit thus receives a 30% development bonus over and above any other bonuses. So this is a highly valuable resource and it says it right here. So you've got stuff like that and then you've got you know your strategic resources used to build warships. And those sometimes go up in price or down in price just depending on basically how much of it is uh, available in the galaxy and how many resources are or how many empires are mining that resource. And then you've got you know, your stock right here, uh, how much of it's in transit moving between planets, uh, how much of it's unfilled, this is very important. So if you actually go into here, say you're about to use like a certain amount, like oh, like say I, I build a shit ton of ships and it eats up all my steel, uh, steel reserves. You know, how much of that steel reserve is unfilled and how much steel do I need to fill it back up? And then this is the total galaxy in transit and how much is unfilled in the entire galaxy. So pretty interesting stuff. There's th th there's a lot to the game, but for me, that makes the game just 10 times funner. I'm all about games that have lots to them. Let's give it a second for everything to be designed here. So our, engin our engineers have completed research on the Starfighter. So that's pretty early in the game to have that technology. But since it was already in Crash Course, uh, ready to go, we might as well have just gotten it. So we've now got Starfighters we can put on our, uh, on our space station. We haven't actually been visited by pirates yet, which is interesting. I don't think that happens actually till we build our first ship. Uh, ship boarding here we've got, let's see, armor plating is what we're going for next. And then we've got, what do we got next? Rail guns. Um, yeah, so we're going to work on rail guns. What else do we want to work on? Not gravity weapons. Enhanced beam weapons doesn't seem like a bad idea because then I can go for uh, maybe efficient blasters or ion weapons, which aren't bad either. Enhanced missiles. Let's go with uh, enhanced missiles after the railgun weaponry. Yep, that's what we will work on. Alright. And is that our first ship there? Constructed? It's about to be constructed. Oh wait, right, there's a ship, right? 
Hold on a second. Yeah, lively agent, expiration ship. Why didn't I get a little pop-up? Usually you get a pop-up saying you've create your first expiration ship, I guess, or your first interspeller, uh, interstellar space vehicle, we'll call it. Well, either way, um, not a big deal. Or maybe it's not finished being constructed yet. Oh yeah, seven unbuilt components. Okay, that's why. It's being constructed still. We can see it right here, but it's still under construction. It's almost completed. I can see it getting finished out there. There we go. There it is. So, Starship constructed. We have constructed our first Starship, the Lively Agent. This event marks the beginning of our return to the stars. We must continue to expand and explore our solar system, build more ships to establish a thriving solar empire. So, we're basically just worry, uh, worried right now about creating a solar empire. So, just creating our empire in this little solar system here. Just this little solar system. That one right there. You see it? Right there, the little dot? <laughs> that solar system. Yeah. I wasn't joking, the game is huge, so it's kind of cool how you start out really small and you just expand your way big, and everybody's starting like that right now, so, except for the pirates, they're always ahead of us. So let's send this exploration ship off, and let's, we need to find a gas, uh, a form of gas very quickly, so let's send him here to explore this planet, and he'll start heading off, oh, he's moving pretty quickly actually, and is this our other one here, Encounter of Thakwa? It is. So, let's send that one off to explore this planet. And we should have one more coming as well. There he is. Right there, the Thakwa Imposter. And let's send him to this planet here to uh, try to see if there's any gas on that that might be useful. Um, and the gas we're using right now is... Uh, let's see, I don't remember what when you start off using. Pretty sure it's... Um, these are the different gases here that you use, so we'll need, ca uh, we're gonna need, um, uh, the, uh, ca uh, Caslon, Caslon gas? For when we start getting, uh, hyper, that's what it is, so Caslon is what we need. And how much of it do we actually have in reserve right now? Uh, Caslon, uh, 25,000, so not bad right now, not bad for starting out, but we will definitely need more. Alright, that one completed its mission already. Sweet, so our ships are really fast, actually. Alright, so, what do we got here? We got some lead, some steel, and some gold. 25%, 28%, 23%. Not, not great. I usually like higher percentages than that. But, um, it's really all we have right now, so we'll probably end up using that in a second. Let's head down here and explore down there. Alright, we got everything going on, and then our construction ship here, let's start sending him off to that damaged ship over here. Where is he? There he is. It's going to take a while to get there, so we'll just send him over there. As you can see, it's going to take a very long time, but by the time he gets there starts repairing that ship, we should be good to go. And uh, there we go, so take a look real quick at this. You'll see there's a bunch of ships being constructed, but wait, I didn't start any ships constructing. What the hell's going on? Well our private economy is starting to kick in. Uh, as I build ships and I need more resources and as I expand and discover resources on other planets, the private economy is going to start building freighters and mining ships to help go and gather those resources for me. And so if we actually take a look at our um, at our empire here, where is it? Uh, this is not the screen I want. I'm still fumbling with the screens clearly. Yeah, Empire Summary Screen, the biggest fucking icon up here pretty much. So if we take a look at this, we'll look at our private sector. Uh, it's going to start growing. And so spaceport income, 29K. So we've made bonus income of t almost 29,000 because the private sector bought the resources off of us to manufacture the ships that they're going to use to harvest the resources that we need. So very interesting indeed. And there is some ways to kind of exploit that a little bit, but we won't really touch that too much. All right, abandoned ship encountered. So... Uh, we encountered an abandoned ship, which is this one right over here that was with that gas giant. And so we want to investigate the ship. We have investigated an abandoned frigate looming serpent at frozen gas giant planet, blah, 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 blah. It appears to be in good working order, and we have boarded and taken control. So we have taken control of this ship. This ship also reveals some intriguing information. Displayed on the main screen are navigational directions pointing to a frozen gas giant planet. Thespis Minor 5 in the Thespis Minor system in Sector H5. Maybe we should send a ship to investigate this location. 
And so if we pause real quick and take a look out, so H5, H5, right there. So if you look, five and right here's the H, so H5. In this system here, we've got a beacon going off, meaning that there's something there. We don't know what, but there's something right here that that ship that we just uh, investigated, that abandoned ship kind of tipped us off to. So very interesting. So let's take a look at the ship real quick and see what we've got. So it's a frigate. Does it have anything? Does not have hyper. So that's unfortunate. All right. Most of the ships won't. You start with the beginning. Um, but it does have a little bit better a mining engine. Really interesting. A frigate with a mining engine. That's uh, really weird. And a gas extractor. And a luxury resource extractor. That's odd. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong screen. I was going to say, I was like, what is going on here? These are the components we can add to ships. This is the, what I want to look at here. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, what? Okay, so this ship has uh, so a little bit of standard armor, just, just one piece of standard armor. Uh, combat targeting system and a countermeasure system. Uh, proton thrusters, standard fuel cells, basic proximity array, interesting. Uh, some shields, some thrust vectors, some missiles, and yeah, that's pretty much it for anything exciting. So, uh, firepower of 36, it's not too bad. Oh, and here comes the pirates. So, greetings to our victims. You may have noticed that we are about to attack you, but for a small price of 349 credits per month, we could avoid this unnecessary violence. Of course, you really should have paid up sooner. Now that our attack is underway, we have no choice but to increase our prices. So, are you ready to pay up now? Uh, well, unfortunately, in the beginning of the game, as you can see, they've sent some ships straight into my, uh, right around my planet here. If I refuse to pay, I have really no way to fight them off. And so, I'm just going to have to pay them for now. Yes, I accept your protection. And that's pretty much how it goes. So they'll warp out of here now. There they are. Heading out of here, so... And then pirate raiders. We have avoided a pirate raider raid on the homeworld, Dakar Prime. In the past, these there were rumors of secret visits from star travelers, but recently these visitors, visitors from the stars have begun to appear openly. Some are hostile, taking whatever they want by force. Others come in peace and trade. Um, yeah, but then some other things about there. Uh, about just the uh, the old galaxy, basically. So, yeah, and what are they doing? Oh, cool. So they came here and killed off some creatures that were hanging out in this asteroid field, so not bad at all. Uh, all right, uh, and it looks like this exploration ship, actually both my exploration ships should be finished. 43% uh, gold, not really that great. Uh, where to go to next? Um, let's head to this planet here. Explore. And where's our other ship? Uh, he's still heading there. So that's good. Let's see what these planets got here. So we got 57% of uh, uh, Tidarius. It's a rare inert gas using weapons, shielding, and reactor components. So not bad, but only 57% of it's not that great. Uh, here we go. This is a really good planet. So 81% steel, 66% gold, and 64% uh, iridium. Uh, so... Yeah, that's a really good planet. We'll definitely get a gas uh, or get a mining station set up on this planet here. And let's actually queue that up now. Uh, well, actually, our, con our only construction ship's busy. We need to build another construction ship. Let's do that. We'll get another constru uh, construction ship started with the extra money we've made from uh, our private sector. Let's. Where do we want to send him next? Send him down here to explore this planet. And then if you took a look there for a brief second, this planet doesn't really seem to have very much gas on it. Ah, uh, some helium. No. Helium's not really valuable to us yet. What are you doing? Why are you moving? Did I tell you to move? I don't remember telling you to move. Are you on automate? You're not, right? Oh, he was on automation. Okay, turn off automation. I do not want him on automation. In fact, I gotta set that up so things don't start on automation. Is our construction ship on automation? No, he's not. Okay, good. So that guy just started off on automation for whatever reason. Not a big deal. We'll just have to make sure we can keep track of that. Um, what was he doing? He was just going to patrol uh, around our planet. Um, I actually think I might just uh, retire him for the extra. Basically, if you... I could keep him, but he's not really very valuable right now, especially since the only space creatures I had in the galaxy just got destroyed by the pirates. Or had in the... Not the galaxy. Uh, had in the solar system. Just got destroyed by the pirates. And so I'm actually going to send him off and retire him. 
what this will do is uh, is he will go off and retire himself at our space station and we'll get a little bit of a tech bonus from it from some of the components that he has uh, and maybe even a boost in technology so here's the private sector ships they're going out and doing their thing I don't have to touch them or control them at all they're just gonna go out uh, some mining ships here they're gonna go out and start mining the resources we need to build more ships and I think these are all mining ships uh, a gas mining ship yeah so they're all mining ships and they're gonna go out and do their thing and let's see things are happening here so let's actually slow down just a little bit all right and our engineers have completed research and enhanced resource exploration which is good and now I've got is this the one no nope, we got shields completed so we're working on energy collection uh, collectors that's good let's see what will be next after that space construction maybe um actually let's go for advanced nuclear fission next and ship storage systems are next for this yeah I think that's fine we'll go for that and then we'll go for uh, medical systems and entertainment systems because we'll need both those to improve happiness a bit so that's where we sit right now we are out of time for this episode uh, we're going around and exploring we're starting to get a good feel for our solar system and things are looking pretty good so far I think we got a pretty good start so I hope you guys enjoy this episode and I'll see you next time